Yeah, I live a block from the Laugh Factory. Well, damn, super yeah. close. Yeah. And your best friend's uh, Brad Williams. Brad Williams. Is that yeah. fair to say? Gotta, gotta have a midget. Yeah, for sure. We gotta have a midget gotta and have a token midget. midget. Yeah. yeah. We don't have a token midget. No. We should have like a bidding award for Brad. But don't say token midget because. Well, no, he has one in his crew. Yeah, once, I think once, you know, I, I was never, I mean, I didn't really know the protocol with the M word and like, but dwarfism is what he has. And so that's usually what I say. Like when my nieces, uh, who've met Brad and think he's hilarious. And, uh, you know, and they, they ask too, they go, is he going to be small forever? They ask adorable questions like yeah. that, you know? And, uh, and I go, I don't know, like modern medicine, we're evolving. If he drinks like, a lot of milk. Yeah. No. <laughs> Turn it into but a way. I that don't I can... think of Brad. It's so funny when you're around him. Yeah. I mean, Oh, you, it goes away so yeah, quickly. It goes away quickly. Unless you go. Uh, but when I started traveling with him is when we started becoming friends. <clears throat> you know, when you have somebody on the road and like that's when you just you, guys you doing, get away. You guys are doing bits together. Like, well, he asked me to do the podcast together? about well, like four years ago and uh, at the John Lovitz Comedy Club. And I never wanted to do a podcast because I guess at that time I just thought you had to do it by yourself. So I was like, nah, that's the market's so saturated. And I just didn't think I you know, wanted to listen to myself talk by myself. And then doing it with somebody seemed really appealing. I can't imagine doing one by yourself, right? Like, can you guys have to do this? I don't think so. I wouldn't want to do one by myself. I mean, I kind of I mean I'm sure we can myself. all fill the space and the myself. time, but it's like... But don't you, you usually have guests too, though, right? I mean, Depends. Yeah, but the first hour and a half is usually me. But by you're myself. breaking oh, down for real? fights, yeah. so you have something specific to talk yeah. about. Yeah, you had, a little different. You had just a general. Oh, sort Bill of... Burr does it. Dalia does yeah. it. Yeah, they're brilliant at it. Yeah, I guess that's probably what it so is. So you just... started a podcast with Brad, but where did the relationship start with Brad? Um, and I was like, "What's up? You're cool." I was uh, in a I was in a park and uh, and I heard some chirping from a tree. Uh, and I looked up, and he was up uh, in this. Uh, he was, he was watching. stealing the eggs. He was from stealing the eggs nest. from a condor. And, uh, he was stealing the eggs from a condor. Yeah, and, uh, he and let, then, they, they, the small, smaller people like to. They live on eggs, on they, wild, on game eggs. Um, very impressive. Yeah, I didn't. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, I've, done like, my, oh, I've done my research. They go like skittles and cookies. Okay, well, that's you know that's what they want no. you to think. No. So they're very they get all the eggs. Very effective climbers. They have retractable claws. <laughs> and I'm just saying what the Discovery Channel says. <laughs> and, and, they, and they raid. They raid. I mean, that's a great they raid. They, raid. <laughs> they, raid. <laughs> they raid nests. Uh, Brad wouldn't admit it, but he wouldn't admit it. He uh, no, we met at USC actually. I went there for acting school, and he was uh, a judge at a comedy contest that they did a year after I graduated. That like uh, Brad hosted it was for alumni and the people that were attending USC, and it was at the uh, big auditorium. And Jeff Ross and Russell Peters like judged it, Damn. and Brad hosted it. So that's the first time I met him. And then he started coming around the comedy store, and uh, and we just you know for dudes, it's like you know sports comedy, for like sure. don't be an asshole, and like you can bond pretty quickly. Uh, you know, girls need like excursions. You know, like he can girl, dance. Girl. By the way, do you know that he can fucking tap? Oh, I'm going to send you a link after real. this. Uh, that... Staples. He was. Remember he was talking about yeah. him dancing courtside. Both did he tell that story? Dan- courtside. Um, First time I ever he saw. He said you should, you were in a fucking supersonics jersey. Yeah, and I listened. Which is usually this. frowned upon. <clears throat> no, well, here's why though. So I lost my basketball team. Right, the Seattle Supersonics. Yeah, you guys drafted Kevin Durant. Like, thank you. We're all set. Yeah, Let's go. It to was the worst, man. It's like, you know drafting him and then Westbrook and then they leave and then they're so good right away. It was like, and then you're having to watch that like night in, night out. It was like your chick leaves you and she goes and fucks a bunch of dudes on TV and you have to watch it and be <laughs> <Yeah>. supportive. <laughs> is that a good analogy? Yeah. yeah. Better yeah. Ones, Listen, but that's man, how I feel. Legit. If you're that it's much legit. of a basketball fan, that is good yeah. analogy. So I guess, you know, and I didn't do it all the time, but like it was anytime I would go to a game, I was just so, I think it was still very fresh too, where I was like, I'm just going to be so pro Seattle. And I know, like, look, I, I also, it's like, yeah, when people wear the another jersey at the game, like, I share the same sentiment where I'm like, the fuck are you doing, man? Those two teams, uh, that team is not being represented right now. But uh, but I was just so hard, Seattle, everything. Trying to make a statement, too, like courtside. I, I get you, showing there. your loyalty. Yeah. Like, and people <laughs> tag me on uh, Instagram and Twitter, and someone just tagged me this morning. They're like, look at this fuck at the Oklahoma-Houston game, and he's in a Lakers jersey. Yeah. They're just like, what are you doing, man? Jesus. You know, it's just, that's what people do at those games. Yeah. Also, too, I mean, I think the the... The better question too is like, at what age do you stop wearing jerseys? You know, as a I, see, man. I, I fell out. You've of never it. worn one because you're not a hoops guy, right? But do you? Yeah. Not a sports I'm guy more of general. an all-around athlete. I'm a sportsman, right? So you know, what so I you mean? wear like the universal jersey, like a tight tee. Like yeah. a, no, he wears like a Fubu jersey. I wear Fubu jersey. I wear, I wear, I wear, I wear a, a, a salsa jersey. I'm, I'm oh I'm, wow, I'm a salsa? salsa enthusiast. You know what Delia <laughs> says about wearing a jersey, right? You know what Delia's bit is? Yeah. Wait, um, if if the, if you run into that Gretzky, guy in the street, yeah. he, he deserves to he fuck, gets fuck you. He gets you wear the name. He gets to fuck you. Super funny. He's got you. Got his name on your back. He can fuck you. What makes sense? It's so Gretzky can skate up to you. Okay, fuck you. And then skate away. You're so my property. <laughs> Dude, in Seattle, I'm trying because uh, 
the reason why the Sonics were so big there is because yeah. of Sean Kemp and Gary Payton. That's exactly. And then Detlef Shrimp. Yeah. Remember what do those names Shrimp? mean to you? Uh, Sean Kemp, I know, because yeah. Sean Kemp had... Thirteen I mean, nine, kids, nine illegitimate yeah, that's kids. That's all you know about him, though. Yeah. You don't know about his high flying. No, no, Sean Kemp could fucking yeah. dunk. <laughs> all right, um, and who else? Who are the other guys? Gary Payton, and then here's, Gary here's Payton, one for you. That yeah. guy had some big hands. Here's Didn't one for you. He? Detlef Shrimp. Detlef Shrimp. Now, now Detlef. That's Shrimp, a name. Yeah, come Detlef on. Shrimp. You open like a you open like some sort of like Burlington Coat Factory knockoff or sandwich <laughs> shop if that's your name because like Detlef Shrimp. You own a yeah. fucking Jersey Mike's Detlef Shrimp. <laughs> yeah. Detlef yeah. Shrimps. I don't know him. You you know like the major like LeBron like the guys who are like I know those guys. Steffi Graf. You're probably a big Steffi Graf <laughs> fan. <laughs> I like female tennis. You seem like a guy that followed 90s. Steffi around the world as she made her. I was a big fan of Steffi. Yeah.